Step 2. Designing your matching network. Many antennas need a matching network. Why? Simple. Without it, your antenna would reflect some radio waves back. Here, we'll learn how to design a matching network to optimize the transfer of energy to the antenna component. But what exactly is a matching network? It's a specific combination of inductors and capacitors to obtain 50 ohms of antenna impedance. In only three steps, you can design a basic matching network. First, place a series inductor in the PCB to compensate for the booster's capacitive impedance. Then, a shunt inductor to match. You might need a series component to fine-tune the frequency response. If you were working on a device running within 800 to 900 megahertz, these would be the approximate component values. Now your antenna is working. Congratulations! Ready for the test?